Right, today we're going to be doing an oil change on a 2014 Ford F-150. This has a 5 liter engine. Um, before we begin, you want to put the parking brake on for safety reasons. And while you're in here, you want to go ahead and pop the hood release. Alright, let's go around front. Alright, let's go over tools required. You'll obviously need a funnel, a drain pad. I use 16 quarts. This does take 8 quarts, so that way I can get two oil changes out of it. You also need an LED flashlight. It's very helpful. A good oil filter wrench. I picked this one up from Sears. Sockets and a ratchet. Today we'll be, need, be needing a 15 millimeter metric socket for the oil filter bolt. All right, and you also need a can of brake clean. For oil filter, you can usually look this up in the owner's manual or in a little book at any auto parts store. And a whole bunch of rags. All right, the oil we'll be using today is 5W20. You can find this in the owner's manual and also in the top of the engine on the oil, oil cap. It's on the passenger side on this truck. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and take this off. A good skill I've learned is to always put the oil filter cap, oil cap on top of the hood release. So that way you never forget to put that back on. Okay, with the oil cap already off, you wanna go ahead and locate your oil drain, which is this bolt right here. All right, and you want to go ahead and put your oil can underneath the truck. All right, and you can go ahead and start loosening the oil plug. All right, you're gonna to want to loosen your oil filter, your oil pan plug. All right, go ahead and screw it very slowly since it will gush out quite quickly. All right, when it gets to this point of like wobbliness, I'm gonna go ahead and pull it out slowly. Well, there's your string. Yeah, at this point you wanna clean your hands and you want this to drain until it goes down to a slow drip. You want to get as much oil out there as possible. All right, while you're waiting for this truck to drain, you want to go ahead and clean your, your bolt here. You want to make sure that this gasket down here doesn't have any cracks or cracked. In this case, this one's perfect and go back on the truck. You want to also grab yourself some brake clean. Clean it up quite good. Quite good. What I like to do is just spray it down. Let's go ahead with rag. You're going to want to go ahead and place this in a safe spot. I like to put it back on top of the oil drain on the oil pan. So that way I won't lose it. At this point when the oil is like a slow dribble like this, it's all right to go ahead and put the oil plug back in. What you want to do is just lay in there. I like to hand tighten it a little bit. And stop in between and wipe up the oil that got underneath it. There we go. Alright, and you're going to want to hand tighten this. Not too tight, not too loose. You don't want to go hold on it. Just like that. Alright, at this point we move the oil pan to the front. So that way we can get to the filter, which is on the front of this engine on the truck. So at this point you want to um, position the oil pan underneath the oil filter. On this truck it has these little plastic guides that help drip the oil into the pan. Where the oil filter is. The oil filter is right here. This is your oil coolant lines. Alright, so what you want to do is see if you can unloosen the oil filter by hand, which we cannot, so we're going to have to use our wrench. You want to reach up there and grab the oil filter, and it should be pretty tight. Alright, be able to break it loose. At this point, you want to put one hand on the oil pan and one, pan on the fil one hand on the filter, so that way we'll be able to catch the oil that comes down. uses 8 quarts of 5W20. You can find that in the owner's manual or online. Let's go ahead and start by putting, by opening up our first jug of oil. Oop. Let's see, it's just down the key in there. And you want to go ahead and make sure you get all of this lumen off. Since if it goes in your engine, you're going to have a pretty bad day. You want to go ahead and take your oil filter. It does have a list of instructions on there. For this, we're not going to go over that. Okay. You're going to want to take your finger, dip it in the clean oil, and oil the gasket. This will help it come off next time and seat properly and seal. Right. And now that we put the oil on the seal, we're going to go ahead and put it on the truck. All right. 
like that, you're just gonna have to line it up like this. Make sure you do not cross thread it, or else you're gonna end up buying yourself a new oil filter. All right? You're gonna want to go down until it contacts, like that, and the instruction says give it a quarter of a turn after that. Don't want to go Hulk, or else it's gonna be very hard to get off next time. Okay, after you're done tightening the oil filter on the truck, you're gonna to want to go ahead and pull your oil can out from the truck. What I like to do is make sure this oil filter is completely empty, which it is. All right, and what you're gonna do is, is take this down to your local O'Reilly's, Vance Auto Parts, or any other automotive store where you have it recycled. These can be recycled um, since it is steel. The engine oil can be reused to make like fuel oils and stuff like that. All right, at this point, you're gonna go ahead and fill the truck up back with oil, so you can take your oil funnel and put it right here and just like that. All right, you can go ahead and want to grab your oil. This truck does take five, eight quarts of oils and this is sold in five quarts. So we're just gonna go ahead and put the entire thing in there. All right, all five quarts of oil is in the truck. So what we wanna do is just go ahead and tap it and make sure all of it's out of it. And at this point, you wanna go ahead and put the remaining oil. So we put five quarts in already. This takes eight quarts. You wanna go ahead and put three more quarts in. And the side of this container is marked. Quartz is on this side, liters is on this side. So there's five quarts, one, two, three, four, and five. So you want to go ahead and drain it down until this line. Okay, after you finish putting in the eight quarts of oil, you're going to go ahead and put this on the ground. Remove your funnel. Cover with your hand to prevent oil from dripping. And go ahead and wipe up any oil you have spilled. At this point you want to go ahead and replace the oil cap. Okay, at this point you want to go ahead and start the truck. I like to let it run for a good two to three minutes. At this point you want to go ahead and turn off the truck, grab your handy towel, and come over here and check the oil level. Alright, your oil dipstick is right down here. It's usually red or it will say oil stick on it. I'm going to go ahead and wipe it down and stick it back in the hole. Make sure it seats all the way and go ahead and pull it right back out. Now since we just changed this oil, it will be quite hard to see the fresh oil. But as you can see, it's right there. So it's about three quarters of the way up on there. Now these lines, that's usually a quart of oil. So from the bottom of these lines to the top, that's a quart of oil. So there's pretty good amount of oil in there. So we can go ahead and call this good. Go ahead and put the dipstick back in. Um, what I like to do is drive a thousand miles and recheck it. I always carry a, at least a quart of oil with me at all times. Okay, at this point you're going to want to go ahead and close the hood. Give her a good slam. And just like that you're done for your oil to turn your truck.